Now we're going live by satellite to Winfield, Kansas, where Crayola not only makes crayons and paints, but Crayola markers, too. Are you there, Professor? Yes, I am, and I'm reading you loud and clear. But the name is Macaroni, not Macaroni. You gotta get that straight in your noodle. Sorry about that, Professor Macaroni. Professor, Tip showed us how crayons were made, but we were wondering about Crayola markers. A lot of kids today like to draw in color with them. Can you show us how markers work? I'd be delighted to fill you in. But first, you have to understand that we markers are different from crayons. For example, a marker is made of many different plastic parts, and those parts are put together by a machine. And while markers are different from crayons, the end result is fundamentally the same. They're fun to draw with. It's all rather simple when you think about it. Professor, I'm still a bit confused. Can you show us how the different parts of the marker are put together? Certainly. Come with me into my laboratory for a demonstration. First, the outside of the marker is called the barrel. And because there are more than 30 different colors of markers, each barrel has the name of the color it will become printed on it. And the color on the outside is the same as the ink on the inside. This is where the markers begin their journey. It's what we scientists call the tracking belt. The barrels travel up the belt. Then a cotton stick or filament is filled with the colored ink that you draw with. And don't worry, this needle doesn't hurt at all. The ink-filled filament then gets pushed inside of the barrel. You should know that Crayola markers come in many styles, like markers that change color that we call changeables. And we even make washable markers that wash off your skin and clothes. And that makes parents and teachers like me very happy. As we move along, a plug is placed at one end of the barrel to keep the filament from falling out. Then the barrel is turned and the tip of the marker is put on the top. That's the part that you draw with. A cap for the marker finishes the assembly. We now have a fundamentally complete drawing machine. Finally, the markers are placed in a marker packer that sorts and boxes them for kids everywhere. It is all very fundamental, don't you agree? You're right, Professor. Markers are fundamentally fun. Thanks, Professor. That was a remarkable report.